I'm Mermaid Mursala. Welcome to my page if you are new here. Today I want to give a review about the Mahina Monofin. So, for those of you who don't know what a Monofin is, this is a Monofin. And this is the Mahina. I will move the camera back a bit so you guys can see. Okay. Mahina monofin. And yes, I'm wearing PJ um, pants with a top for filming because I didn't intend on showing everything. I'm, I have a long day of filming. Just bear with me. Whatever, okay? So, monofin. So, the thing is, a lot of people that pick up mermaiding, there's a whole debate about the monofins. You need a professional monofin to be able to swim in a mermaid tail, okay? You need a professional monofin. Now, this is one of the many brands of professional monofins that's out there. You get like the Lucia as well that I heard is great. There's just a lot of brands of professional monofins. I don't recommend those that's like foam, you know, like the, the ones you see like on stores like Take A Lot or Amazon or stuff like that, okay? I don't recommend those. If you want to do professional mermaiding, you need professional sports equipment. And as you can see, this is big. Compared to my body, this is a big, really big thing. Look at the length of my arm. It's a really, really big monofin. You get them in different colors. Uh, my monofin is a size Australian 7 to 9. European 40 to 42 and USA 8.5 to 10.5. So that's the size of the monofin I have. Now what I especially love about Mahina is they use recycled material. So I love ocean conservation. I'm all for ocean conservation. So knowing we use recycled materials to make these bad boys is just the best news ever. So in terms of durability, these are pretty sturdy. They're pretty flexible. This is a rubber monofin, so they can just flip-flop all over the place. They're very, very sturdy and bendy, and they swim really, really great. I have swum with two different types of monofins, the Lucia and the Mahina, and I prefer the Mahina because of its flexibility. It is not easy to swim with this thing, okay? My feet, most of the time when I finish swimming, has bruises on them. It hurts, okay? I recommend... I recommend socks. If you're gonna go um, swim with a monofin, I recommend wearing socks. I just wear these cotton ones. I heard silicone ones are better, but, you know, I'm just savage and I don't care if I'm in a little bit of pain. So I wear those, okay? I've also been putting things um, inside of my foot pockets to just make it like stretch out a little bit, you know? But it's kind of like if you buy new shoes, you have to like swim it in to break it in, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, they are, are a little, um, at the top is usually where they kind of mess up my feet. So I'm just trying to like get that a bit more um, real supple, flexible. Overall, I really recommend the Mahima. I really, really love it. It. I really like the way it looks. I like the style of it. I like the shape of it. I like the way it feels. I like the way it swims. I don't like the way that it hurts my feet, but all monofins kind of do that. You get used to it. Like, it's actually, it's really fun. I don't really mind. So, I would I recommend the Mahina to anyone else? Yes, I would. 100%, definitely. I will recommend the Mahina monofin to swim with. I absolutely love this monofin. Like I said, I am trying to just, you know, stretch it out a bit. I've had it for a couple of months now. You'll be able to see on my page roughly when I posted when I got it. I frankly can't remember. But I've had it for a while now. I've swum with it a lot. I have put this thing through torture, okay? So as you can see, there's just a little coloration issue, like where your feet goes in. I don't really know what that's about, but it's fine. It's just this part is more rubbery, where this is more like harder, and this is flexible. So I think it's just because of that flexibility that it does that. But if you if you wet it up, it goes away. See, it kind of 
where I wetted it up. It goes away. So if you just wipe it off, it, it comes off. It's not a really big deal. Um, I also heard that if you do end up busting these things, because I heard uh, one of uh, these things breaking from a uh, fellow mermaid, uh, apparently you can just like melt them back together and there are different ways to fix them. Uh, I heard someone else fixed it with a staple. I wouldn't personally do that. I think I would just melt it. It is rubber, so I would probably just try to melt it to mend it back together in case it does uh, break, because these are expensive. Sporting equipment is expensive. I'm not gonna lie. This one racked me. I paid 2,200 rand, that is South African rand, that I paid for this, and these are really hard to find locally because they are imported, so it's really hard to find Mahina brands here. I was very lucky to find one in the color I wanted and the size I wanted here in South Africa, and I'm very happy. I got mine from Two Oceans Mermaid Tails. I will tag them down below, and I'm just really happy with the Mahina Monofin. I, I frankly wish I could swim more, but it's turning autumn now, and now I won't be able to swim for a long time because the water is going to be cold as heck and driving to the Merce school place where they have a warm underwater pool is too far so no mermaiding for me for a while but once I can get back into it I will full more content you guys have seen me swim in this I recommend this I love this I the only complaint I have is that it it hurts your feet but that's just a thing that happens there's things you can do to make it a little better uh, I also have a problem because I have I had a bit of a water retention problem with my hormones being a little messed up, so um, that made my feet swell swell up a bit and that made the pain worse. I don't, I don't recommend swimming with a monofin if you have feet that are swollen, but I'm just reckless. I'm chaotic, so I do impulsive weird stuff and I just I don't care, but I don't recommend it to you guys. But yeah, mermaiding, you end up with some injuries. It may look graceful and fun, but there's a lot of hard work that goes into it. There's a lot of money that goes into it. And it's just, it's very rewarding. It's very good for your mental health. But yeah, you are going to feel the burn. And yes, you do need a lot of strength, especially upper body strength. And I'm uh, doing a nice exercise routine to build my strength. And I'm going to be doing that all winter until I can swim next summer. And then I'll probably be in a much better shape and much better strength to be able to rock this bad boy even harder. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all your support. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.